guys. Okay. Um, remember I did the um, unboxing for the Influencer Oasis box? And one of the items, there's a little sticky glue on here. Items in there was the CoverGirl Violet's Healthy Elixir Foundation. Right here. And the shade that I was given was shade 755, which is Soft Honey. And I'm going to be testing this out today. And I'm going to be testing this out probably how a lot of people would do. And I'm not talking about beauty gurus, but I'm talking about everyday people, especially from my generation. I'm 40. So a lot of people from my generation, they either use a wedge or most of us use their fingers to apply our foundation. And I'm going to be using my fingers today to apply it. Okay, and um, I'm just going to be applying the foundation only to my face, you know, aside from my skincare products that I use, just to see how this um, performs. Now, since it's supposed to be lightweight, full coverage makeup, this formula hydrates, includes a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and an and, and antioxidant, so not antioxidants, but one, and it's supposed to be oil free. Okay, so before I get in there, I'm going to do my skincare. because I can't really tell how much the monitor is picking up when I can't see too well. Okay, that's better. Okay, so just applying it with my fingers, no brushes or special tools, no sponges, nothing like that. Knowing my skin and the discoloration that I have on it, it actually has done like a pretty decent job with just applying my fingers and one layer on most of my face and supplying, you know, light layers on other areas. It did a good job. I'm thinking that may, I probably will need a concealer around this part, you know, after um, color correcting, but, you know, and up here a little bit, as those are like my darkest areas. But I know for my under eyes, yeah, my under eye area, unless I have like a really bad day where my dark circles are just like pitch black, <laughs> I think I'm going to be able to get away with just using the found, using color corrector and the foundation. I even need a concealer under my eye unless I'm trying to like do a highlight. <clears throat> but yeah, and I'm not feeling... Yeah, I'm not too mad at the orange of this. Because a lot of foundations that I have to use are orangish. You know, that's just the nature of it. 
not too many of them have the yellow undertone that I need. If they do have the yellow undertone that I need, they're way too light for me. So, <clears throat> as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, here and here are different. <coughs> mm. Something stuck in my throat. <clears> throat. So, I'm gonna have to wrap this up because, whew. <clears throat> I feel like I'm trying to choke. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to um, probably take some pictures later on in the day, especially after I fix my hair up. <laughs> Just to show, um, you know, how well this wears throughout the day. Now, they're not making any special claims that I'm seeing on the bottle that says it's going to last, you know, X amount of hours without any breakthrough. This is just one of those new types of foundations that are coming out that try to act like they're, you know, skincare and foundation. So we'll see what happens. And I'll catch you guys another day. Bye. <laughs>